Well, okay, I want to do a quick tip for everybody. You know, we've been talking a lot about uh, electrostatic sprayers, been talking about foggers, and uh, we were talking about paint sprayers and things like that there to go ahead and, and apply a disinfectant. If you're going in to do a, a cleaning and disinfectant for a, an office space or a facility or a home or whatever. But the thing is, uh, you can have a multiple pump-up sprayers, uh, you know, that might be a, an option too. Uh, I mean, to, to use a pump-up sprayer. Now, like anything, uh, we got to make sure that it's, it's applying a fine mist. So we have to find pump-up sprayers that would have an adjustable tip on them. If not, we'll have to change the tip. Uh, this one here is a, a small 40-ounce uh, uh, pump-up sprayer from Flowmaster, and it does have an adjustable tip on here. So I, you know, I can I can adjust that to where it's shooting a stream out to out to a mist. So and that's really the key because if I'm going to apply a solution to something, I got to be able to know. Uh, know the pattern that it's shooting out and and how wet I'm going to get the surface from from the pass that I make very important we don't want to over wet things so you know that that could be an option so the other thing too is that what you'll find out is that there's other pump up sprayers out there here's a, another smaller one this is about a 64 ounce uh, 1.9 liter but uh, this is a uh, hydroforce so they make a lot of these pump up sprayers they, they make the three gallon ones too but like i say this one here has a fixed tip on it i can't adjust the i can't adjust the the, the spray to it i can't have it shoot out in a stream or a fine mist so i'd have to change the tip on here and that's the thing is right now this one here is made for uh, applying uh you know applying pre-sprays and things like that there are neutralizers so i'd want to get a different tip in here that would shoot more of a more of a, a fine mist than anything else like I showed you before so that keep that in mind now everybody is familiar with the regular pump up sprayers too so here's one this one here is just a small one gallon but you know it's the same thing we have to make sure that we can adjust the tip so we can create a fine mist uh, once we can once we can apply the right solution well then we'll, we should be able to use something like this but my advice to you is that if you do decide to use a pump-up sprayer like that, test it before you take it out onto a client's or a customer's uh, location. Make sure you have the right size tip in there. Make sure that you're not over applying a uh, solution. So just do, a, do all these triple checks on it and uh, to make sure that it's uh, set at, the, uh, at the, uh, you know, the spray that you want and so on and so forth. And like I say, the, the real key is the technician. Make sure you train people on how to apply it. You know, we don't want somebody going out there and over, over applying a solution and uh, doing some damage. Um, so just, you know, if you follow some of these tips, I think you'll be fine. Um, you know, because we, everybody's looking for alternatives because we can't find electrostatic or foggers out there. So this could be, a, this could be an alternative. You know, and uh, like I said, I, I was telling people that, uh, you know, I was on a webinar uh, for a school district where the person had said that they used a, a paint sprayer. Well, it wasn't a sprayless uh, uh, or a, <clears throat> an airless, but they didn't know what it was. And they never got back to me to tell me exactly, you know, what kind of a sprayer it was, if it was just a cup sprayer and what size tip they had in there. Because again, you know, they had to apply a mist. But uh, they did say that that worked. But again, you know, when we're trying to figure out different solutions, when, when we just can't find the equipment that we need, uh, you know, this, this, might, this might work. But again, like I say, just try it out, test it, make sure you got your system, your cleaning system, uh, you know, fine-tuned. So when you go out there to uh, start uh, servicing some of your clients and customers, that everything's going to go great. So if you do that, I think you'll be okay. So hopefully you'll find this helpful.